Uh, hello, welcome back to Team Forest TV. Such drama we have here for this ETF 2L Season 18, powered by TTE Sports Premiership Playoff. It's round one, it's fourth place, third, it's GG well played. Your bronze team against, oh well in fact the fifth place team, Phoenix. I'm going to keep saying that all night so everyone knows Rocket are the kings. Uh, <laughs> but after this big server dispute, they've ended up going back to the original server. Seems like Atomic's 120 ping or whatever it was has gone down. Uh, we will be back uh, on stream again, I believe. It looks like the map is changing for me right now, so we may actually find out which map GG Well Played are going to pick. Are you excited, Kratos? Oh, totally, man. I already saw it's Badlands, but oh, it's actually another map. It's Snakewater. Oh, who could have expected? Oh, uh, wow, I thought people would have been sick of Snake or haven't had played it for the last two weeks of the season, and then you had, like, such uh, top-quality players like Cadis and that guy who writes the blog, whose name I forget, uh, complaining bitterly about it after that Epsilon Asomniac game. They really seem to detest Snake War, yet uh, it's been picked here by GG Well Played. I guess Heiss is the one guy who still likes Snake War. Uh, maybe Shadowburn's got some sick rollouts on Snake War, that might be it. You know, some secret technology he's yet to unleash on the, the waiting public. Yeah, I know but he got some uh, un rollouts on Granary, so they might pick Granary as well. Like, this is Fennec's pick, isn't it? No, this is the uh, GG Well Played pick, the team with oh, uh, the, the up higher up rating. The upper okay. seed, yeah. Oh, okay. That's my understanding, anyway. That's the only way it would make sense. Why would you give the... Yeah, that's, that's their benefit for you know coming higher in the in the league. But I should mention as well that we do actually have uh, Phoenix on Mumble, uh, so we can jump into their live comms at any time throughout the cast, except ninety seconds after a pause, because that would mess things up slightly. But uh, we don't have the Russians, even though they're speaking in English. They're going to use Teamspeak tonight, so screw those guys. But I just want to say that to remind myself that we do have the live comms and we should use that. So don't be afraid to ask for it, Kratos. Yeah, yeah we should. you're under orders. You know now. <laughs> I want to see uh, some fight from you. I know you're a German and like you, you don't know how to have fun, but... Fair enough. So you're just mis completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> kind of AFK with your brain. <laughs> Wasn't following quite well. Go yeah, ahead. Kind of... talk, talk some trash. Tell me who's yeah, going to win. Uh, I predict this map is going in favour of GG Well Played. Like it's a really deathmatch heavy middle at least, so I'm gonna we're gonna see some nice middle there and I guess the deathmatch thing is on uh GG World Play favor, so let's see how this is going. Gonna be interesting. It, you know, normally I would have said that like the the Fennec soldiers would be perhaps out damaged by the GG World Play soldiers. Or maybe out coordinated, out teamwork, because you see Forsaken and Shadowburn doing some nice timed aggression on occasions. But uh, with Zub here, like Zub is incredibly solid. He could be the deciding factor. Like, uh, really, GG Well Played might regret allowing him as a Merc. He is super solid. Like, I'm really interested to see how he stacks up here or how he manages to link in with this Phoenix team. We are going live here, though, so the worth has been weighted. We're going to go to the first middle here on the first map. Snake War is the best of three. The winner of this game goes ahead to play Epsilon in the uh, semi-final, I guess you could call it, of the playoffs. But right now, this is for fifth versus third heist and uh, Rib trading stickies on the first mid. But no one doing any damage. They're just setting up for their teammates coming. Kalari's already gone into the blue kitchen. He's not going to go all the way behind, though. He peeks in, shows himself, though, and he's going to get tagged down by Heist, but gets in onto the medic. He's going to get white glow. Oh, and now Zub cleans up Forsaken and Atomic. Walters is going to move forward with GF18, they kill off Yangpai, Shadowburn, and that is almost a wipe. Heiss is the only man alive. Yeah, it was pretty much just the work of the Fennec soldiers there, because like we saw two of the Russian soldiers both jumping inside, but no one could really follow up, and Fennec just did the same, so they just out deathmatched each other. Both medics died in the middle, so there's not a lot of advantage for Fennec, they should be, might be able to get the second point. Uh, nope, it's just going to go back. So they're just gonna have the middle for free, just regroup up and then let's see, we might see a push here on the clock because there's one player down for Fennec. 
Let's see if the Russian's going to push this. Sort of a sloppy death for Zub, but it may actually bait some action here, but it doesn't look like GG well played are gonna just rush into this. They're working their way through the saw room. Forsaken's peeking in here with his full buff, but there's a couple of stickies above that doorway. And uh, now Kalari's gonna step in and try and put the hurt on him as well, but there's just uh, both teams filling each other out here, waiting to see if they can find an opening. Skeej might have been paying attention to the clock here and may know that he has a small uber advantage, but he's probably not gonna be willing to push off that. And right now it seems like Phoenix are just doing the team huddle here in the middle. They're getting buffs and they're making a plan. They're trying to decide how they want to approach this. And uh, this is the sort of area that got the most complaints that steal me around the saw room. Because if you want to push lower, it's tough. Like you're coming in here at a height disadvantage through tiny, sort of low doors that are tough to escape back out of if you commit to the point. But uh, they have managed to work their way in with five players who are going to leave to Kalari to control the saw room. And they just seem to be bullying back these uh, GG well played players. I'm surprised they give it up so easily considering it was equal Ubers. Yang Pai has managed to go down to a pipe there from Rib, the legendary Swedish demo man. But that was uh, a lot of territory given away for free. Yeah, actually, like it was. Equal everything, like they had equal Ubers and equal people alike. Let's see, we see a scout soldier push from the bottom there, Phoenix, they're not finding any frags. Kilari's going in from the top left, can't find anyone as well, have to back out, he might get finished off, yeah. Atomic's just finishing Kilari. No, they're actually still trying to fight this whip, and Zoop's going down as well. And the scout just gonna back out now, trying to keep Skeech alive. Skeech is going from the bottom. Heist is going down, really nice work there of Fennec scouts there. Atomic is all the way chasing, I not managed to find anything, so you have to this make out. This is a big advantage for them, I think we should jump in and try and listen to some team comms, see how Skeej wants to take this one in. Yeah. Watch for a sniper. Soldier in lobby, they're trying to push out. Yeah, they're pushing lobby. lobby. Spam him, spam, spam, spam. Um, yeah. The sick is right door. I can go behind, maybe. Sure. I can go go, last. go, go, go. Let's go last, killer. Yeah. They're not pushing out. They're not ah, pushing out. They know. I'm going yeah, back. Sorry. Hello. They have my push. On me. Yeah, but they didn't really push yet. It was too early, guys. I said they're, they. You should do that when they're out of lobby next. Time. What's under? They're pushing right. Yeah. Go out underneath. They're moving first. Going out. I'm top right with Zoom. There is it, I think. Should I take a snipe? Mm, no. There is. There is. I popped. Oh, ah. I Scout for now. Put it behind. Get him first. Two scouts Get top us. left in lobby. Make down. Nice. Get heals, get heals, guys. I'm behind. I'm behind. Nice. 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 Go for last. Turn it to alive. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Go as well, Kilari. Yeah, go. we're all Send one alive. Send one alive. Sorry. Get me behind. Nice. nice! 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 Oh, that was such a risky push out from them. <laughs> I love Skeets, that's such a risky push out. He drops his demo man and gets carried there by uh, GF18 and Zoob coming up with the big frags. Yeah, but, actually. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, the Russians did make a risky play though, trying to push out, but they got absolutely crushed there. And we're gonna go to the second middle, it's 1 0 here. On the first map, Snake War, and it is your underdogs, Phoenix, coming out ahead, but still early days, yet only five minutes played. Both soldiers are gonna bomb in again. Rib gets forsaken, Shadowburn manages to kill Rib, but immediately gets cleaned up by GF18. And Ski just staying in the fight here, and he's still healing his team. He tries to make his way out, in bombs high, Sticky gonna kill off Ski, but there's a man advantage here for. Phoenix and they're trying to move forward, but White Glow is going to go out with Yang Pai and they're going to have to give up middle. I really doubt they can test that. But, uh, sort of classic tier 2 scenario there. Lost your medic on middle, but still managed to take control of the point. So, we're going to see a bit of leapfrog action here, Kratos. Yeah, we see your Uber advantage now for GG. We're played now, and I'm sure they're going to try and use this. Let's see what Phoenix is trying to do now. Zoop is actually going in before the bomb got denied by both of the scouts. Yang Pai finding the frag on Zoop. So it's one less player as well and a full uber advantage for GG well played. So they're going in from the saw room it looks like, from the top left area. Let's see wh how they're going to push this. Phoenix is actually still spamming the middle a bit, but they're gonna back out in time. They might not even use here and just take the middle for free it looks like. Oh, Phoenix. Super weak. Oh, but he actually manages to get the frag on Heist. 
as uh, White Glow pops off, though Heist is already dead. Forsaken's gonna lead ahead here. They're getting time on the point. They've managed to catch Rib there. Skeet serves the rocket away from Forsaken. He's empty. He's got shotgun out. He's taking melee hits from Rib. He does go down, but Atomic's in behind. Skeet is aware of the threat, though. He's managed to juke around, stay alive with his team. White Glow's alive as well, but big advantage here for Skeets and for Fennec. They're gonna be able to push forward here. Uh, will they leave a few players to cap and just try and push ahead? Or are they gonna use the whole team to cap? Looks like they want to make sure they get that uh, point cap. They probably know they have a pretty significant advantage here. Skeej can estimate he has at least, you know, 20, 15 seconds to play with, but now time is of the essence as they move forward. That Uber is coming up very quickly for White Glow. They're probably going to have charge in time here, and Fennec should be aware of that. They're just playing very gingerly. They want to edge some time on the point without over committing to this fight. They're going to let the Russians come at them. Now the Ubers come in. And it's uh, flashes on both sides, but Heist gets first blood, Wallers goes down. And as this Uber fades, the man advantage is actually equal. Shadowburn goes down, now it's 5 on 5. Zub and GAP18 doing a great job trying to defend their medic. Skeej has managed to make out alive. Kari comes in too late to the fight. And he's going for the wrong target here. Doesn't even land a single rocket onto White Glow. But look at this, Fennex is going to stay in this fight despite being in a pretty oh, shitty situation GF18, here. Right? GF18 is going for the backup now. They're actually all going for the backup place, and we have just Walters trying to block the middle. It's actually not necessary, so the backup <laughs> backup is three players. The combo is going last as go. well. Yang Pai oh. and Atomic are coming through cheese. They're going to try and cut them off from behind. Will Fenix commit to this? There's stickies all over the point. This might have been just like a step too far. They're going for it. They're throwing bodies on the point. It's all on rib here, but he gets cleaned up by Heist. Kalari and Zub haven't respawned or now moving forward, but they're in danger of dying themselves. White Glow went down through all that. Well played, Walters. Uh, just to make it an even fight here, I wonder will Skeej take this opportunity to go crits? Already Yang has pushed up there, Kratos. He's gonna begin to cap. Yeah, Zoop almost got uh, high, so he was down to 12 HP, and Kilari was going from the bottom. If he would have jumped, he could have might get it, but he just decided to fall back from the bottom now. And they're just re pushing the second point now without any Uber. And Heist is actually pretty low again. They're Ooh, all weak in GG. We're Skeej playing Heist. Oh, oh Skeej Atomic comes in behind, cleans up Skeej, and uh, Forsaken just walk forward there and did a lot of damage to those Phoenix players, but uh, Ribs managed to cap second all alone, and his team are already stacking that last point, and Phoenix with another round on the board here. Oh dear, GG well played, need to step it up. This is the map they picked after all. Yeah, Kilari and GF18 just wrecked them, like, they were jumping for Skeet and Kilari and GF18 just ignored this, went forward and got like 3 or 5 kill, uh, 3 or 4 kills or something. Was gonna pretty good. Gonna jump to the, the comms oh, really quick on this mid thing. Got top right. Going third left. So he's going left side now. Oh, I'm really weak. One through the top. You, you can, can get in that back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Box to the left. Sorry, the Down. One down. She's Again. Down. One one behind. One behind. It's okay, cap, cap, cap. It's our choke, our choke. Uh, let's I'm go going back to the gen. Cap, come be first. Uh, yeah, just cap it. Nice, we'll take the, all done, yeah. all done. <sighs> but you shouldn't guys, take go the... Second, uh, go second, go yeah. second, come on. Wow, did you see that mid fight? I thought yeah. Phoenix were doomed there, they tried to play super defensive and Rib was weak, but... Uh, a few of their flank players, I think it was Wallers and Clary, sort of went around and wrapped around and they just like enclosed on the GG well played aggression and managed to absolutely crush them. They lost Skeej in the process, but he was the bait for like two points there, so I think that's a decent time to die as Medic. Yeah, it's actually okay, I would say. So Fight we see the Phoenix just going here, like without Uber or anything, but they just have so good position, they're just spamming GG well played out, finding two frags there on Young Pai and on Forsake. And they're trying to continue finding another fake on Shadow One. That's only three lives. Gold is pretty weak already. And High is not buffed at all, so they should be able to get this as well. I like the aggression of Phoenix. Like, they're just pushing without Uber and stuff and just taking the higher ground, spamming the enemy team out there. And yeah, that's actually really well played by them. Really like it. Such momentum as well. I mean, it's all well and good in having some uh, good middles and playing well at periods throughout the map, but if you can get quick rounds chained together, this is so hard to come back from, especially considering we play against the clock here in Europe. There's 10 minutes played so far, 19 minutes left, and uh, we're on to the fourth middle already. Phoenix with a commanding lead here, and again, they're trying to play a little defensive. Walters is alone there on the right, and he's getting pressured by Forsaken, but the rest of Phoenix are just playing super defensive, waiting for that soldier bomb, and Shadowburn gives it to them, gives them that free frag. It seems like they're not learning anything from the middles. Although Forsaken didn't follow up on him that time, but uh, 
They need to try and be a bit more patient, I feel, because Fenix just loved to sit back. I seem to remember playing against them myself with Rocket, and uh, we, sh we uh, struggled to deal with that passive style as well. And uh, now that I think about it, this was a pretty poor map choice for DG well played, considering Fenix uh, quite uh, enjoy Snake War. <laughs> yes, like they're trying some huge plays, like Shadowburn is jumping in, but there's no follow up, and just Fenix focusing him down and then go aggressive with the whole team. Now we see Uber was Uber, that's a better Uber for GD Rapids, they have to run back there all the way. They might even re push, I wouldn't be surprised if they just re push there. We have Kalari and GF18 in on the left, almost finding Atomic, it was down to 9 HP. So let's see, Zoop is probably going down though, Forsaken just finding Zoop. There's one more frag, Heist is overextended as well, Heist going down, Shadowburn in alone as well, GF18 just cleaning this up. There's three frags again, they just give those frags for free. But Fennec's obviously playing this really well and just, yeah, using this overextend and just getting the frag. That's Seems like a, a, a real collapse there, like in terms of the, the mindset from GG well played. Heist just walking into the lobby there, thought he could get a pick onto Skis, but Skis just walked out and let Rib clean him up, and that was really uh, important there. Like, how powerful is the demo man in holding last, and he just gives away that death, like he dies so easily there. But uh, now, this is an opportunity for DG well played to get back into the game here. They need to change their approach in middle, he may not commit so early. Barry's gonna take the opportunity to jump into that blue kitchen, he's just uh, staying there spamming rockets. Actually Tag's forsaken, he's getting focused by Rib as well. Now Heist is gonna walk forward, he sees Rib uh, quite far forward, he's pumping out the damage here, Rib's requiring all the heals right now. gf 18s gonna be able to kill off Shadowburn, but Yangpai finds Zub. Atomic's gone down though, but now look at this slow death that Fenix are suffering. As uh, GG will play to actually have a decent middle here, they've got Yang Pai still behind, but Forsaken just about manages to keep White Glow alive there, finishing off Kilari with the shotgun. Kilari playing that long con as usual, doesn't manage to get the med pick, uh, but Ski just stayed alive as well, so it will be equal in terms of the Uber battle. But finally, GG well played have dug deep and got a point here, Kratos. Yeah, that's the first for middle point GG anyway. Play. Yeah, let's see if they will be able to get one round there. Like, would be good. I don't want to see them getting 5 0 rolled. I want to see a closer game. At the playoffs, like, 5 0 is such boring. But let's see, we have yeah. equal Ubers now. And let's see how GG we played is going to do this now. We see Fenix holding on the train there with one sort of aggressive. They're just gonna sing Luba if GG we is trying something with Zoop there, probably. Well, they might be looking to get Shadowburn in here. I remember. During that Epsilon. Oh, yeah, he's actually uh, jumping and <laughs> almost hit Skeet. That was so close. Skeet was uh, kind of weak, like he was half HP or something. This rocket would have killed him. So that's one pick for Fennec. Let's see if they're going there. They're just buffing what? up, playing it slow, it seems like. Let's hear what they're saying on call. Let's see, like, if yeah. you guys, okay. it doesn't matter. Uh, pushing yeah. onto right, just uh, get okay. ready. Yeah, be we close. do the same, guys, even yeah. if we get one sort of down. Can damage the most again. Yeah, nice. 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 Let's go, let's go. Okay, one scout left, be careful. Okay, yeah. check really plan. Going left towards really slow. So the window, window. Solid window. Second solid catwalk. Solid still. Solid, solid top. Back back two scouts back, back. capping. Let's uh, go, go back. back. Yeah. One is weak on the point. Yeah, that's okay. The other one. He's 50. Nice. Last one. Just nice. three. Let's you can now. go together, yeah. guys. So. What about that? Oh, shit! Just like cut it off. Shadow uh. comes in deep onto skis, but gets cleaned up. Whoa. Yeah, I guess White Glow dropped the Uber there, I guess. Did he? Yeah, I think he did. And okay. uh, Heist got absolutely destroyed as well. Maybe a bit of poor chemistry there. Heist has uh, Sticky set up on this midpoint though. Uh, four on the wall there. I'm trying to find four on the crate as well, the blue crate. He's hoping someone uh, will move across the point. Zoom with the frag onto Forsaken there. It actually gets the force out though. And, uh, only 60% right now for Whitegrow, he's still on Medigun as well, but they will Uber to take control of the midpoint there. And uh, that's fine for Phoenix right now, man. They have a 4-0 lead, there's 14 minutes left on the clock, so any uh, engagement they take that draws the game out, um, whether it's like Ubering to stay alive, like just play it safe from here on out. Even if you play the most boring TF2 in the world, you can take a map here in this best of three series. Shadowburn's gonna jump behind and manages to kill off GF18 idiot. Skeed realizes this has been going poorly with three down for Fenix. He's gonna back out and regroup with Ribbon Walters on mid. He's positioned himself around the Sorum for an easy escape. He's not taking any chances here, but a big advantage for Whitewell as he ushers his team through this midpoint. 
Uh, Zub and TF18 just about to respawn. Phoenix aren't going to contest this point at all. But they need to be aware that uh, White Glow has that charge and they're already pushing through the saw room. They can get trapped here if they don't get back to lobby in time. This is the danger around that second point. Oh, Skeeds just about makes it into the lobby. Gets his Uber in time. Now he's going to pop off. He's going to be able to keep his entire team up here. Yang Pai goes down early. Heist dies immediately after. And uh, now GG well played. We're trying to play off that Uber advantage but just couldn't get in fast enough. And they've been... Uh, it's <laughs> egg on their face here, really. <laughs> Satan is still behind, no, he's gonna get cleaned up, probably, no, he's okay. actually finding Kilari and he's still behind. They're gonna be aware of the backup, he's 11 HP, he's got a ceiling with him already, like, Chief Aiding just fragging for Satan here. That was actually really nice Uber by Fennec, by Skeech though, just keeping everyone alive there, just getting the Uber just in time. That was pretty well played, and the Reapers obviously as well, and they have another Uber advantage of 60% now. See if we're gonna see Shadowburn jumping in, maybe. Oh, he's actually still on us, just picking up his medic, but I'm sure you're gonna tie something there, going for the huge Atomic's gonna the flank as well. Atomic's gone through Sorum, he's dropped down onto the lower ground, but oh, unfortunate timing there. Clary comes out the window and sees a scout at his feet and says, Oh, yes, it's my birthday. He gets the frag onto the Latvian scout. Oh, here comes the Uber Force underneath. Heist is playing around the lobby there. He's going to go down to Rib, but the scouts have already been Ubered through here. So no demo man. Again, Heist dying early on these last defenses. This is match point here for Phoenix. If they can clean up these frags and cap the point, they will be uh, going through to the next map with a one map lead in this best of three. And it seems to be going that way. Heist is just about to respawn. Demo man can clutch it here. Forsaken and White will do a great job of staying alive. They're almost at Uber percentage. They got 90%, almost at 100%. There's a G18 draws attention oh. on the point. White Glow goes down. They won't get that charge. Skeege is alive and he's backing out. Both soldiers are trying to chase him here. He's got to buy some time for his response to get in. Walters and Zub are going as fast as he can. Skeege with the little hop. He's going to make it into the saw room. Skeege survives. Walters and Zub come in and combine to take out Forsaken. And through that survival, A will have another great opportunity to push here and seal this map. Yeah, we see we have another Uber advantage, so that second try for Fenex again on this last push. We're gonna see a heavy again, and actually, Atomic's trying to build up a sentry, I'm not sure if he can make it in time. Also, we see G of 18 on the heavy this push, so that's gonna be interesting. Maybe we could jump into the comms as well, see what they're doing. Oh yeah, you called it right, buddy. Let's go. Dude. I'll be dropped on Skish, okay? Go. On yeah. the top right. I'll pop heavy. I got a sentry. Yeah, sentry on the right. Nice. <laughs> No stick to the point, go. Demo weak. Demo, down, nice. Get on point, guys. I'm on what? The... Oh. Get on point. We're done. They're taking damage, so Scott is weak, and so there's the Nash. We got the magic. The arrow saved the game. It seemed like a real error and decision making there. Like, they went in, they killed the sentry, but all those GG well played, played players were just playing around that spawn door. So like any damage you do to them, if you don't kill them, it's just going to be immediately replenished by the spawn cabinet. You just like, go for the point. They should have instantly played the point as soon as they saw how defensive they were playing there. Tried to draw yeah. them out, but they didn't and they got punished. Yeah, actually like if they back out to spawn, then they can just walk onto the point for free actually. Also, they, it seemed like they didn't focus well enough because you saw they were all like on 10 HP, 10, 20 and 30 or something. Like they were all red hells and they didn't manage to find any frag there in the end. But let's see, 10 minutes left on the clock and GG well played just having the middle now. There's a little uber advantage for Fennec though but don't think they can push on this. So we're probably gonna see GG well played keep pushing there. They, I mean they have to. If they wanna win this game, win this map or at least draw it then they're gonna have to go. Go for the Look place. Ski. ski just staring down death here. He's on 10 health as Yang Pai run towards him for a few seconds there. He had no protection. And he ma has managed not to pop his Uber. And during that whole period, White Glow was only about 80%. They could have just pushed in and crushed them. Uh, the Russians were getting quite close there to their own death, but they have managed to survive back out and get charged. So it's going to be Uber versus Uber here in mid, but Shadow burns down, so it's a little man advantage. He's going to respawn with those fast respawns. GG well played controlling that midpoint. GP team goes down, now Reb goes down. Ubers have been traded and Phoenix really need to be looking for the door here. They're gonna to start to back out. Walters manages to trade with Atomic to try and aid his team a little bit, but Skeege and Zub are gonna make it back to the lobby. Skeege drops down low and Zub will join him. Yangpai is trying to go in there, but realizes it's a bad idea to push through that tiny door. 
against Zub and it is going to back off. They'd be happy to take control of CP4, but now it's Fenix here sitting here on their own last trying to defend. Real heartbreak around here, Kratos. Yeah, actually the first time we see Fenix defending the last, isn't it? Yeah. So we see a sniper of Kalaritas and GF18 on this heavy... Oh yeah, actually it's Kalari, it's in the water, see? Oh, it's on 20 <laughs> HP, almost got down there. I guess that's why we don't see Kalari uh, sniping much throughout the season. <laughs> and uh, both teams just about to get that Uber charge. Uh, good health here from the Phoenix guys. And uh, oh, Uber comes in very early on the flank from White Glow. This is questionable. Uh, Ski just decided to milk his. Now he's going to pop off looking to clean up these frags. But really, only. Oh, oh, White Glow on 20 health just about makes around the corner. Zoom might continue here. Oh, the rocket's good. Just catches him on the slope. Medic goes oh. down. Yang Pai dies to Walters as well. And uh, that bad push. That's just a final nail in the coffin there for GG well played, I think. Yeah, we see Shadow Monster fighting in the lobby. So, um, I don't know. He's pretty much alone, though. I don't think he's able to find any frag there. But they might be able to delay them a bit here from pushing out. Fenix probably just waiting for this Uber to push, or actually just holding the last. Yeah, like, I mean, the they have the time. They have 4 nil and 8 minutes on the clock. Like, they could just sit there and wait for GG Replay to do something. They have 50% of the red the 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 Yeah. Oh, actually, they're trying to peek in from lower with the soldier and the medic. Zoop is on them. Zoop is on high, is finding high. Is GG, uh, GF18 is following this up. So it's a good uber for them. GG were played all the way out on second point, but they keep chasing that. Oh, there's a player on the last. Atomic's in on oh. last. Rib's here on weak health, but the respawn from Kalari just comes in in time. Forsaken's gonna come into last as well. Kalari whips the air shot, uh, but Rib is gonna finish him off with a sticky wind bombs for the win. And uh, Phoenix with the nice push out there just about managed to hold on to their own last at the same time. And now they have a man advantage, but the uber advantage favors White Glow and he's gonna push here. He's not even gonna wait for those spawns. They're going straight forward here. They know they're playing against the clock. Six minutes, 40 seconds. Uh, Skeet is far forward here. If Tyson uh, Shadowburn, that is actually, can close the distance, they could catch the Dutch medic. He's managed to juke down below oh, again. Survives on low health. Well. And Heist so is gonna be complaining. He's like, why is there nobody with me? Where are you, Shadowburn? And Skeet is uh, just standing there on the slope. One rocket would have killed him off if Shadowburn had opted to shoot anything in, but he went for that scout fight and lost. He's just choosing to heal the scouts who are cleaning up here. GF18 and Walter's doing work. And uh, Fenix continuing to run that clock down. That's the main headline here. They are looking likely to take this first map. Yeah, it looks like it's the Uber advantage again. GG were played just spamming a bit onto the middle, but they're actually pretty far back already. Trying to back out the choke way. Uh, Uber got popped off there. They're trying to chase it a bit, but I don't think they'll be able to find... Oh, they actually found Heist, and Kilari just found White Big Glow on the there as well. Atomic and Yang Pai have made it all the way behind onto CP4. They've capped it. Yang Pai's going for last. Atomic is down. Is anybody going to be making it? They're stacking the point, and they're going to be able to get it times five. Even uh, compared to that times two in the last point, it was just enough. It was already... Was uh, that really really that choke finding Skeech? Oh, that was important. Like, Red Glow just spawning now, and they have the medic advance, they have the Uber advance, they're all on weak health. See, two scouts really weak there around the middle point, so they might be able to defend this middle. They're trying to. Ice finding Zoop there with a bomb. Zoop just sp uh, spammed them out there with a bomb. Scared him off. But we see Kilari actually uh, going from the kitchen way. He's probably trying to find White Glow as well. Oh, Skeej is sort of committed to this. He, he and Rib are standing on the slope. Rib might die here, but Skeej at least has managed to survive. Rib realizes he's uh, struggling to get here. He gets the kit though, and Skeej starts to heal him again. Uh, but as it stands right now, it's going to be 6 on 6. The respawn's just coming in for Phoenix, but a significant uber advantage again for GGWellPlay.pro. And they're already moving through that saw room uncontested. This is uh, nice for them. They're, oh, there's 3 or 4 stickies waiting there on those steps from Rib though. Rib debts, he's not going to get anybody, but he does get the force. He and Skeej will make it back to the lobby. Zoob's there as well. They're just trying to juggle these Ubered players, but Skeej goes down. Heist with the money sticky there is going to catch the fleeing medic. And Fenix might just be about to lose their first round of the fixture so far. Yeah, that's the first round for GG we played now. Oh, we see four minutes on the clock. That's going to be really tough for them. I don't know. I guess it's possible though. So let's see. We have to see some nice aggression. We see some crits now. So they're just trying the crit tactic and <laughs> oh, just yeah. going all the way. 
Oh, let's see Yo, if this uh, gonna work with heist. I don't know, yeah, it's not white GDK, the you know? Yeah, the machine. The crits machine. <laughs> yeah, it's probably white glow's gun. Just wanting the demos to crit so well. And if they uh, play passive as well here to... Uh, it'll probably, to like, wait for the crits, that'll probably pay dividends, because every time they've gone aggressive against Phoenix and this mid, they've uh, lost tragically. Kalari's gonna be first to go down, Forsaken takes him down around the kitchen there. Uh, but now, three frag coming in for Phoenix. Waller's onto Atomic, Zoo finds Shadowburn, and GF18 onto Forsaken. Why didn't they just wait for the crits? Now they have the crits. They have to take a serious gamble here. Ice is going for it! The sticky connects, but doesn't get a frag. I think he did a little damage there. Maybe not even at all. But, uh, oh. Yeah, uh, that was pretty down. close. Huh? <laughs> they died. They just simply died. Yeah, actually. Oh, I guess that's it. So they're gonna have to find the medic somehow. And we see Forsaken on the sniper now. Let's see if he's able to find anyone. He's uh, like, really, they have to kill Skeet and just push straight away. Oh, Skeet he had just the popped shot. off there. Skeet on 8 health there when he pops. And, uh, Heist just respawning again in the lobby here. This trend. He's gonna set up a trap here, but the clock, 2 minutes and 30. I mean, do these guys think they can win it now? Or are they just trying to see a face? Walters peaks bottom. Ice had that door cover too. Sticky's gonna claim Walter's life. Atomic's gone down as well though, so it's five on five here. And it's Uber versus Uber. Only 8% the difference. Slight lead for GG well played. And they don't even gonna wait for Uber. They can't wait for Uber. They're gonna start moving forward here. They need to gain territory. And all Phoenix need to do right now is not die, not get wiped. As long as they can keep players up, they can always slow the clock down. Uh, and slow down the aggression of GG well played and just make sure that they uh, don't lose any sloppy rounds here. Yeah, we see Kilari on Cypher, they're just trying to hold this middle and just... I don't know. I don't know if they take it any serious anymore or something. Because they probably already won. Finding Heiso with the body shot there. And he's actually gonna get chased by a scout. Not finding the headshot, he's going down to Atomic. GF18 probably gonna clean him up though. Oh, actually, Atomic's finding the frag on... Oh, it was Walters, wasn't GF18 at all. So he's stuck behind. He's just trying to go for the hero place. But with 1 minute 30 on the clock, that's the probably gonna be it. Contested. They're not even bothering with Atomic behind. They're probably just capping this and Time just gonna wait. Yeah, White Glow just goes in. They could all just go and stand in the spawn right now and still uh, <laughs> come out victors here. Dead time, essentially. But they have time for another push for sure. 60-70% for Skeege right now. And they've just cleaned up the threat behind. Atomic is down, so man advantage for the next 20-15 seconds. Uh, and uh, yeah, how do Phoenix want to do this? They're going to be facing against Yang Pai on Heavy, Forsaken on Sniper. They just want to rain on their parade here. This is their opportunity to move forward and get a fifth round on the... But this time they played it right. As soon as they forced those players back, they're straight onto the point. And GG well played are forced to commit bodies there, but they just keep uh, throwing players on that point. And they have managed to just brute force their way in there to a 5-1 scoreline. And uh, you, it's not even like the scoreline was down to the clock. They got all those four rounds in like the first 10 or 15 minutes. It was just a blitzkrieg right here from Phoenix in this first map. Yeah, and also to remember like, it was actually GG well played pick. So let's see how they're playing on their own map now. Yeah, indeed. I want to try and bust out some logs here. Whilst we're just in dead time, I'm gonna skip ahead to logs TF. You tell me what's happening in the actual game. Oh, it's actually over. It's the last second, so there we go. White Claw is just sitting in spawn. Yeah, we aren't really bothering. I have found the log. I am a boss. But uh, if you just joined us, that was the. 5-1 route there by Phoenix Esports by Simray.com beating GG well played dot pro on their own map despite being the uh, lower seed the underdog here they've come out and taken the first map in this best of three we're going to take a look at the stats and see what story they tell us who's underperforming on GG well played or who's really uh, carrying the can for Phoenix uh, and as I see it right now it is top damage from Rib doing work significantly more than Heist, like uh, 347 per minute for Rib, 291 for Heist, doesn't even manage to cross the 300 threshold there. But as well, like he's got 
Pace 23 deaths, Rib 14. Zub doing big work there. 30 frags, top frag. They let Zub merc and he crushed him almost 300 damage per minute there. But looking at Forsaken's numbers, pretty close in terms of damage, but really not finding the frags, not really playing around his medic. And you know, it's like White Glow has 12 assists, Skeech has 18. Better combo play there, I would deduce from that. And as well, GF18 yeah, like high... showing up as usual. Yeah, as well, like GF18 with huge damage, 7k, 7.5k damage, that's pretty good. Also 29 to 8, that's a ridiculous KD. It's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> it is, it is ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, 15 but assists like... as well, but yeah, what is interesting is like, Heist got the most heals and he got 23 deaths and only 20 kills. And also kind of uh, low damage, I don't know what was going wrong there, but uh, I don't know, that affected the game as well, probably. Like, Forsaken was less heals than Heist, and yeah, I don't know, they weren't really doing any work, pretty much. Like, the kills are like 120 for Fenix and just 80 for GG well played. That's 40 kills difference, that's pretty much. Yeah, a big part of that as well is like uh, how easily the GG well played team threw away their soldiers, like they just think they're dispensable, they throw them in on every middle and uh, they're more than happy to bomb them in, like you see uh, if you look at deaths there, her Shadowburn 23, he's 23 deaths, that's actually quite surprising, but I feel yeah. like um, they were really sucking out in the middle, it's like it was, they were just totally outplayed, like Phoenix were just playing super passive and they were expecting this double soldier bomb and like that's part of the reason why the GF18 has so many frags and Zub as well because they were just sitting there destroying yeah. Forsaken and uh, Shadowburn time after time and like every passage of play it was uh, pretty much Phoenix just waiting for an opportunity and then sent the whole team in like they were just pretty much waiting for Shadowburn and Forsaken to go in and then clean up the Sphinx like one by one and then went aggressive with the whole team like we saw like a soldier bombing in and GF18 just walking across the top and finishing the kills off or Rip is going in onto the top and then anyone else staying in front of him and just like taking his damage that he can just do his work and try to f uh, find some frags. So they play yeah. properly together, I guess. Look at the, like, just in general, the whole performance from DG Well Played. I've struggled to find any positives with it here. Like, even White Glow is getting majorly out healed by Skeets. Skeets puts out like 34,000 heals that map. Uh, yeah. Obviously, he had the, an actual pocket with him, Forsaken, more likely than not to jump away. But, I mean, they just, they were really solid, maybe a little boring. But luckily, DG Well Played made it interesting by, like, just going in and uh, taking these fights where they are at a disadvantage and playing aggressive all the time so it was like the ideal scenario for Fenix like Fenix liked to play passive and a little bit defensive and wait for their opponents to make a mistake and GG will play just repeatedly made these mistakes like they only won one middle out of seven and uh, their stats tell the tale like so many deaths there on